you were in a couple of years before the story starts that you were in New Jersey and yeah. a guy, guy, great big guy who's six foot four oh, walked up to you guy. and said, hello. I was just sitting there watching the warm up. And uh, he says, hello, Don, I'm Troy Crowder and I, I'm with the Devils. But I'm using Utica at the time, Utica Devils. He was in the American yeah. League. And he says, I'm going to make the National Hockey League and I'm going to beat up Bob Probert. And, he used to, and I thought, hmm. I said, like this. well, he's big enough. And I said, good luck, kid. And that's all he said, and he walked on. Two, By golly. Two years later. Two years later, he had a fight in, uh, in New, Jersey. New Jersey. Jersey. And boy, did they ever go at it. And I'd have to say six to four. And because he, if I remember correctly, Bob never wore, wore t- uh, tie downs. No. And he got the, you know, got the jersey oh, over. Oh, he did a good number. And he of, cut him. He, he, he cut him over the eye. So. And, you know, you cut Probert, you're a champ now. Yeah. yeah, it must have been tough on Probert at the time. Every tough guy. And he, he so now they're having a rematch in, in Detroit. Detroit. And he said he said some things, but uh, he was Well, they, they, the press was playing it up like it, it was, was Ali Frazier. Yeah, it, it was, was a, unbelievable. So I said to Ron McLean, I said, you know, we should, we should see that game. So we phoned, like we phoned, we're going to drive over. Yeah, we're going to drive from, uh, drive. and he said, there's no tickets. Well, I said, well, you know, you know, no. He said, there is no tickets. It is sold out. The press box is packed. He said, I have two sits, two, t- two tickets up in the nosebleed. He says, they're, I don't know, they must have canceled or something. So we sat a way up high. You know, I remember that game now. I, I'll tell you that game. Now. I remember the fight. Well, tell, yeah. first of all, I'll tell the fight. Well, just before you get into it, too, remember you, you guys were walking in, you saw the referee and the linesman. Oh, yeah. Yeah, we saw the linesman. I said, look, don't break up this fight. We drove all the way. He says, are you kidding? And the linesman, I said, I, we want to see this one ourselves. Imagine the linesman saying that now. Oh, yeah. Yeah. So I, knew, I wouldn't say anything. He knew he could say that to me because I wouldn't say nothing to knock. So anyhow, it was a beauty fight. I remember Probert hit, uh, and, and it was pretty even. Yeah. And yeah. I think Probert hit a... They, yeah, the second fight. Yeah, they fought twice. Yeah. In, in that game. Yeah, and the first time it was down in the corner, and the second time, he he beat him the second time. He hit him so hard his helmet flew straight up. Anyhow, it was a good fight. So now we said, well, look, we got to drive back. We have to we have to leave, and you know, we have to leave early. So when we get up, I had a member. I had a le- lovely leather coat, beautiful leather leather coat. But during the time while I was sitting there. J.J. and the crew from Detroit radio station came up and gave me a watch, you know, and amongst the, all the things, and I just shoved it in my pocket. Thanks a lot. And on the way home, I look, and it's a long Gene Whitnor. It's all gold and, and the thin, you know, and everybody had, yeah. had great big watches. You get hit. If you take them off, you get, and this one was the style, you know. You'd Very look, stylish, yeah. Yeah, you really look at it. And it's engraved in the back. Yeah. Which yeah, took a thought uh, process. Thanks. thanks, JJ and the crew. Yeah. So anyhow, oh, I have to I have to end this here. So we get up. This is a true story. I know this is hard to believe. But we, as we get up, they all start to clap. And I look down on and Ray Scampanella is the, the linesman. And he turned and looked. And Bernie Nichols, and I forget the other guy, who the other guy was, or the other linesman, the uh, other centerman. And they stopped. And they held up the game while, they, while we left. So now we, we get up, we get up, and we get on the air, and the policemen are there, and the police came and, you know, took us on the air, on the elevator, and as Ron get on, went to get on the air, they pushed them off. I thought, okay, <laughs> you let that guy. He, let them go. Was didn't. that the place where you and Ron were having a drink? This, this might not be it, and someone fell into a river? No, oh, no, that was no, that, that was, was a long, that's a longer story. That's a longer but story. But anyhow. We'll save that story. No, no. Yeah, we'll save that one, but. He, 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 I, so then anyhow, I got, and so I saw the watch, and Dell's got the watch, so if he goes out on a date, he can, he can wear it, because I don't be wear them anymore. I used to wear it all the time on uh, Hockey Night in Canada. I used to have it on all the time, because, it was, and uh, anyhow, that was it. 